Hey guys, and in today's video, we're going to be solving AMC 8 2024 problem 16. So, Min enters the numbers 1 through 81 into the cells of a 9x9 grid in some order. She calculates the product of the numbers in each row and column. What is the least number of rows and columns that could have a product divisible by 3? So, what is the first idea that would come to mind? Well, that would be to shoving all to the first idea would be that we like put all of our items into one corner. So first we need to know how many numbers divisible by three are there. Because if you remember, if a single number here is divisible, if a single number, like say for example, this one is three, just three, right? If this one is three, then this whole column will have a product divisible by 3, and so will this uh, row. So knowing that, let's try and put all of the numbers that are divisible by 3 into, uh, into this corner. We could put them into any corner, but we could. I'm just going to put them into this corner. So how many numbers do we have divisible by 3? Well, that's 81 divided by 3, which is... 27 all right so let's try and make a rectangle with with an area of 27 well the first thing that comes to mind is a 9 by 3 rectangle and this covers this covers one, two, three columns, I mean three rows, and nine columns. So, most people would just do nine plus three. And just call it a day. But, you have to remember that our rectangle doesn't strictly have to be number di numbers divisible by three. Our rectangle could have numbers divisible, not divisible by three. You just have to have a rectangle with all of them in it. You can have some extras too. So knowing that, let's try the next number. A rectangle with area 28. Here, I'm going to use a uh, green for this. The best idea that comes to mind for a 28 is seven and four. And you can see that this covers four rows and seven columns, which means that our current answer would be seven plus four, four, which is 11. Now you could just circle 11 and be confident with your answer. But if you really wanna try and push it, and uh, figure out if there's any that could be 10 or 9 or 8. Well, you could try and figure it out, but you'll notice that no shape is going to have a sum of rows and columns of 10 because the best shape, like the biggest area shape that you can have that does that is a 5 by 5 square, right? And that has an area of 25, which won't include all the multiples of three, which means like, for example, we might have a number, we might have one like up in this corner and then another down in this corner, wait, another down in this corner. And suddenly our answer completely changes. So, D11 is our answer. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.